Hi guys, it's uh, NM4 here with the Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone. In this video, we're going to look at how to insert a micro SD card slot, so how to install it and then format it so that your phone can then see it essentially and then put stuff on it. Uh, this may seem like a fairly easy video, but not everybody knows how to do it, so this video is for you if you don't know how to already do it. Okay, so first of all, we'll just take a look at the SD cards that we've got. We've got two here, the 4 gigabyte generic micro SD card on the left hand side class 4 and I've got also this is my existing one which I've got uh, is a SanDisk 32 gigabyte class 4 micro SD card there this one's already formatted so we're not really gonna use that we're gonna use the, the new one that I've got here the, the 4 gigabyte model so we'll just take that and what we'll do what we're gonna be doing is putting it into the Samsung Galaxy S3 so what you need to do, you don't really even need to turn the phone off. Uh, just take the back off. So, just wiring it out in the top there, pulling the back away, and obviously the micro SD card slot is there. So all you need to do, take your micro SD card, put it in, chips down, and as it is there with the the finger that pops out of the SD card towards the right hand side, insert it in. It does click in like that. So click it in and we'll put the back back on. Excellent. Now that we've got the, the back on, uh, what we need to do is format the SD card so that it's in a language that the phone can understand. Now just because you bought an SD card uh, doesn't necessarily mean that it's already in a language that the phone can understand. So what you need to do, as we've put in, put in the SD card in the phone already, what you need to do is format it now. And the way in which we do that is hit menu, settings, and then scroll down to where it says storage and obviously you've got the various storages for the phone and what it's compromised of if you scroll down at the bottom uh, you've got SD card slot section there you can see it says there mount SD card just because you've put the micro SD card in the phone that doesn't necessarily mean that the phone can automatically talk to it and connect to it so what you need to do is press mount SD card for it to essentially connect to the SD card and you can see now it says total space 3.7 gigabytes now you never get the full amount that is stated on the micro SD card slot because uh, there's a little bit reserved for a system. So you can see as we scrolled up there it gives us some more options. Total space, available space and unmount SD card slot and format SD card slot. Now that we've mounted it what you need to do is format the SD card slot so it's in the language that the phone can understand. And it gives you an, uh, a warning there or and the next screen just saying data cannot be recovered after SD card is cleared continue now this is equivalent of formatting a hard disk so format formatting SD card would delete all data data cannot be recovered continue yes erase everything it's brand new we've just put it in there's nothing on it so that's uh, once that's done Here now it says SD card is currently running it's being checked that's it it's done it so you can see there, total space now says 3.71 gigabytes, so it's managed to get us 0.1 of a gigabyte more than what was there before. Available space is 3.71 gig because we've got nothing on it. It's a brand new one that we bought, we just put it in there, mounted it and then formatted it. Now the only other time that you would use the unmount SD card slot option would be to if you wanted to remove it from the phone. So just press that before you take the back off and remove it. And obviously a format SD card slot is if you were to put it in a, a different phone and use it or you wanted to remove the contents completely, that will erase everything that's on there. So now that that's format, formatted, if you ever wanted to navigate to the phone, uh, phone's micro SD card slot, the one that we've just put in, all you do is go into your file browser, which is, again, I'm going to use the standard one, which is on all phones, all Galaxy S3 is called My Files. Once it gets to the home screen as such, it gives you op options there for SD card slot, which is the phone itself, its own storage, or the you can see there it says EXT SD card, so external SD card, which is the one that we've put in, and it gives you a picture of a little chip there. So what you do is tap it, and it gives you nothing in there because we haven't put nothing on, and it gives you the lost dot dir, which is a standard directory. Uh, on these devices and then you can start moving stuff onto the phone start putting stuff on there play movies and whatnot from that location uh, I should say if you've got any movies or films on there just by going to 
um, the mul the sort of the video player that comes on the phone it'll automatically gives you uh, any any films or movies that are on the micro SD card it's like if you go to the folders option within that application there but that's how easily you can install a micro SD card slot on the Samsung Galaxy S3 and format it ready for use and putting files, music, pictures on whatever you prefer. Any questions or comments that you guys have got, please hit them up in the comment section below there. Hit subscribe from the button up top there. It doesn't cost you anything and it's free and you can check out what am I doing in the future. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and we'll see you next time.